Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our topic today is the story of the whale and Yunus alayhi salam in the Quran. Prophet Yunus alayhi salam was one of the 25 prophets Allah mentioned in the Quran. He is also known as Jonah. Surah Yunus is the 10th surah of the Quran and Allah revealed it to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam during the Meccan period of his mission. Surah Yunus is in the 11th juz of the Quran and it contains 109 verses covering the prophet alongside various other topics. Yunus alayhi salam is a very famous prophet. As with all the other prophets, Allah sent him to his people for one reason. That was to call them to Islam and to worship Allah alone. They were idolaters and did not believe in God or worship him. However, as with most of the early prophets, his people were obstinate in their rejection of Allah. During his prophethood, something happened that earned him the nickname Dun Noon, meaning the one of the fish. Additionally, he is also famous for the dua he made to Allah in a time of immense distress. Allah covered the story of Prophet Yunus salam in the Quran. We can also find in-depth explanations in Ibn Kathir's tafsir and these are the primary fo- sources that we'll focus on here. We will also look at the story of this great prophet and investigate the lessons we can learn from it. Nineveh was in the town of the northern region of what is now Iraq. The people of Nineveh were undoubtedly disbelievers and idolaters. Allah sent Yunus salam to them with the message of Islam. However, they were obstinately disobedient. They even argued that no harm had come to their forefathers while worshipping idols. Therefore, they laughed off the threats of Allah's punishment. The unusual thing about Prophet Yunus salam is that he became disheartened after seeing his people's attitude. He saw that they had no intention of obeying Allah and thus he told them that he was leaving them alone. He also mentioned the threat of Allah's punishment. Allah says in the Quran and mentioned the man of the fish that is Jonah when he went off in anger and thought that we would not decree anything upon him. Thus the Prophet departed the village. Soon, however, the signs of Allah's punishment began to appear. The skies took on a fiery look and the horizon was ominous. Then the people began to remember the fate of disbelievers in the past. As mentioned in Ibn Kathir, they realized that a prophet never lies. Hence, they took their children and cattle and went into the desert. There they separated mothers and children and began to pray to Allah. They asked him for forgiveness and pleaded for his mercy. The Prophet in the meantime had turned away from his people. He went and boarded a small ship with a few passengers. Initially, everything on board seemed calm. However, the ship soon started rocking from side to side with huge waves causing trouble for the craft. At one point, the passengers thought that the ship was sure to sink. However, the passengers got together and discussed proceedings. After pondering over the events that were taking place, they quickly came to a conclusion. They would have to lighten their load to keep the ship afloat. To do this, they decided to cast lots. Each passenger on the ship would have their name on one of them. The one whose name would be on the chosen lot would have to be thrown overboard. Allah says in the Quran, And indeed Jonah was among the messengers, mentioned when he ran away to the laden ship and he drew lots and was among the losers. Ibn Kathir elaborates further on this in his tafsir. He states that the men drew lots of the people on board. However, the draw went against him. Initially, the people refused to throw him overboard since they knew that he was an honourable man. However, they drew lots again and the same result happened. When it happened for the third time, Yunus salam knew what it meant. He had abandoned Allah's mission to preach to his people. Now, it was his time to pay the price for the decision he took. Instead of letting the men throw him out, and they didn't seem willing to do that anyway, he took the plunge himself. He jumped off the ship into the water. Allah says in the Quran, Then the fish swallowed him, while he was blameworthy. And had he not been of those who exalt Allah, he would have remained inside its belly until the day they are resurrected. In his tafsir, Ibn Kathir narrates that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said a large fish came out of the ocean and swallowed Yunus salam whole after he threw himself into the sea. However, Allah had inspired this fish not to eat the Prophet or break his bones, etc. 
the prophet wasn't food for the fish rather the fish was a prison for the prophet the whale went deep into the ocean with yunus alayhi salam in its stomach the tafsir of ibn kathir states that the prophet even thought that he had died however he then moved his legs realizing that he was very much alive and understanding his predicament he fell in prostration to allah saying to allah that he was prostrating in a place where no other human had been no one knows how long he was in the whale's belly for however the early scholars felt that it was for a duration between 3 and 40 days allah says in the quran and he called out within the darkness there is no deity except you exalted are you indeed i have been of the wrong doers so we responded to him and saved him from the distress and thus do we save the believers this dua is la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minaz zalimin prophet yunus alayhi salam uttered this invocation to allah repeatedly This is now one of the most popular duas for Muslims after they commit an act of wrongdoing and it was Yunus alayhi salam who showed the way to all future generations of Muslims with his actions and words There are several hadith about this dua in the authentic sunnah it was said that no muslim would pray to Allah using this these words but his lord would answer the prayer another hadith states that if a person offers supplication to Allah in the words of Yunus alayhi salam Allah would answer the prayer Another long hadith states the virtues of the dua that Yunus alayhi salam made. The crux of it is that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam called upon the people and told them to make dua at the time of distress. Uthman radhiyallahu anhu narrated that he told them the first part of the dua. However, a Bedouin interrupted them. The companions were upset that they didn't hear the full dua. Later, they went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam once again. and he stated that it was the dua of yunus alayhi salam when he was in the belly of the whale all the creatures in the sea hearing this dua began to sing allah's praises after hearing them from the whale's stomach even the whale realized what was happening and knew that it had swallowed a prophet of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah says in the quran he would have remained inside its belly until the day they are resurrected but we threw him onto an open shore while he was ill and we caused to grow over him a god vine allah saw yunus alayhi salam repenting sincerely he knew that the prophet truly regretted his actions and realized he had committed a mistake by going against his commands hence he granted him forgiveness and let him survive allah even stated that if yunus alayhi salam didn't pray he would have remained in the belly of the whale until the day of judgment however because of this heartfelt prayer he was only in it for a short period The whale heard Allah's command and went to the shore. There it released the prophet on the naked shore. According to Ibn Abbas radhiyallahu anhu, this refers to a place without any vegetation and buildings. However, due to being in the belly of the whale for a long time, Yunus alayhi salam was extremely weak and he collapsed at the shore due to the weakness. The companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam stated that the gourd vine referred to in this surah is squash. They said that squash had many benefits among them was that it grows quickly and offers shade since it is large this was very important considering the precarious situation Yunus alayhi salam was in additionally one can eat this veg- vegetable cooked or uncooked and with or without the peel hence it was the ideal thing for Yunus alayhi salam since he had no means to survive except for this miracle from Allah Allah says in the Quran and we sent him to his people of a hundred thousand or more and they believed so we gave them enjoyment of life for a time Allah forgave the prophet and he eventually regained his strength then he made his way back to his land there he realized what had happened while he was away all the people showed up to welcome him and they had now accepted the message of Allah they were believers no more engaging in idolatry as they used to in the past Thus not only did Allah forgive Yunus alayhi salam for his transgression but he also made his task easy for him the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam stated in a famous hadith recorded in sahih bukhari that he is not better than Yunus ibn matta that is prophet Yunus alayhi salam if you wish to learn or study the quran you may go to our website quranforkids.com or you can contact us on the given phone numbers If you enjoyed the video like and share it feel free to leave a comment as well 
and subscribe and press the bell icon.